In 2021, Apple unveiled the brand new 14-inch MacBook Pro with notable performance enhancements. Though the company is still selling the popular 13-inch MacBook Pro with the previous Touch Bar version. In 2022, Apple upgraded this older model with the more recent M2 chip. Considering this, deciding between the 13-inch and 14-inch MacBook Pro models might be difficult. Does the price difference, despite the older chip inside, justify the extra inch in all the bells and whistles? In this video, we'll contrast the two models so you can decide which is best for your use case. So, without further ado, let's get started. Design differences, image credit, Apple. The refreshed 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro still features a design that Apple first introduced in 2016. This design refresh paved the way for the touch bar, which is no longer a feature on the redesigned 14-inch models. While both the 13-inch and 14-inch models have the same thickness, the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro looks thinner due to its shape, whereas the 14-inch Mom Pro MacBook Pro goes for function over form. The display, image credit, Apple, the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro sports a 13.3-inch IPS display with a resolution of 2,506 to 1,600 pixels, giving you pixel density of 227 pixels per inch. The redesigned 14-inch model features a gorgeous 14.2-inch liquid red and XDR display with a resolution of 3,024 to 1,964 pixels at 254 pixels per inch. This display is crisper than the previous models, but the resolution isn't even the talking point. If you aren't aware, the Liquid Retina XDR display uses the same mini-LED display technology that Apple uses in the 12.9-inch Mon iPad Pro. This panel uses 10,000 mini-LED to deliver excellent detail with vibrant, true-to-life colors. Watching HDR content is a joy on the Liquid Retina XDR display, as the peak brightness can go up to a whopping 1600 nits. CPU and GPU performance, image credit, Apple. People generally expect high-end performance when they buy a MacBook Pro, but there's a huge disparity in performance between the 13-inch and 14-inch models, despite the former packing the second-generation M2 chip. While the refreshed 13-inch MacBook Pro with the M2 chip is a solid performer for most casual users, the redesigned 14-inch MacBook Pro takes the performance to a higher level, thanks to the scaled-up Mon Pro and Mon Max chips. Although Apple hasn't compared the Mon Pro to the new M2 processor, we know that the Mon Pro is 70% faster than the Mon in CPU performance, while the M2 is only 18% faster than the older Mon chip in CPU performance. So, you can tell the Mon Pro is still a lot faster than the new M2 chip. As for GPU performance, Apple's M2 boasts a 35% improvement over the Mon chip. However, that's still not enough to compete with the Mon Pro, which is twice as powerful as the Mon in the graphics department. And Apple's flagship Mon Max, with 32 GPU cores, is four times as fast as the Mon. Ports and connectivity, image credit, Apple. The redesigned 14-inch MacBook Pro brings back all the ports that Apple took away from its notebooks back in 2016. You get an SDXC card slot, an HDMI port, a headphone jack, and an all-new MagSafe 3 port with support for fast charging. Besides these, you get three Thunderbolt 4 enabled USB-C ports for high-speed data transfer. The refreshed 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro only gives you two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports and a headphone jack, meaning you may need to purchase adapters to connect all your accessories. Battery life. Whether you buy the 13-inch or the 14-inch model, you'll get exceptional battery performance. However, if we have to pick a winner here, it's the 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro, which gives you up to 20 hours of video playback. In comparison, the 14-inch MacBook Pro delivers up to 17 hours of video playback, but that's because it packs the more power-hungry Mon Pro or Mon Max chip. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.